today's morning affirmation. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a morning routine. This is basically kind of my routine every day. And I'm about to head to a workout class. I booked a core power yoga sculpt class. It's one of my favorite classes here in New York. I usually like to work out in the morning because I feel like it's just a great way to start my day and it gets me really energized and it makes me feel like I can power through the rest of the day. I'm also wearing my Apple Watch. It's been a minute since I have, but I used to wear this super regularly. And I love it because I feel like it keeps me very productive and motivated, especially working out. I love the activity app because it keeps track of your steps and it like closes all three rings when you accomplish your goal of the day. And I feel super like accomplished after and it motivates me to like to continue to like keep my body moving. But yeah, I'm gonna head out to my workout class. I grab my yoga mat and I will catch you guys outside. Just got out of the shower. I'm gonna show you guys my morning skincare routine before I blow dry my hair just so that my face doesn't dry out. I'm the type where when I get out of the shower, my skin already tends to feel a bit tight. So I'm gonna go straight into toner. Um, on the days that I don't work out in the morning, I will skip washing my face and just use a cleansing water. I like to use the Bioderma cleansing water. It is amazing. I, I just put a little bit on a cotton pad and then wipe around my face just to get any of that bacteria or stuff that was on my pillow the night before. The first step is toner. I'm gonna to be using this Istree Hyaluronic Acid Toner. And I love this toner because a lot of toners actually contain alcohol, which dry out your skin. So I avoid any toner that has alcohol. But this one, hyaluronic acid, you can basically think of as a big tank for your skin. It helps hydrate. You can see it a lot in toners, serums. It's great. 
Toner is super important in your skincare routine because it kind of sets the stage for the rest of the products that you're going to use. Moving on, I'm going to use the serum, which this is the Ultimate Hydrate Hyaluronic Serum by Solora. And I've been trying this out recently. You guys know that my normal go-to is this Skin and Lab Vitamin C Brightening Serum, which I also highly recommend, but I just ran out. I don't have any left. So I'm using this, but I've been really liking it as a day to night serum. And if you see the texture, it is very like watery. That tends to be the case for hyaluronic serums, but I'm going to gently put it on my skin, on this side as well. And yes, it feels very good. Moving on to moisturizer, I have a couple favorites. I feel like this step is so important for me because I have dry skin and so I'm always looking for a moisturizer that will last throughout the day. My favorite is the Skin and Lab Barrier Intensive Cream. This one is amazing and I love getting the 30 milliliter or the 50 milliliter because I can take it to travel. But also another favorite that I've been using for a while is the Physio Gel. This is in French because I got it in Paris, but I feel like it is dif more difficult to find here in the States. But if you are in Europe, I'd highly recommend purchasing this at a pharmacy because I feel like this is good for all skin types. It's so nourishing, hydrating, and moisturizing, and it lasts all throughout the day. I've shown you guys the barrier derm plenty of times, so I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. But I'm just going to put a good amount on my face and... I feel like this is a moisturizer that is a good year-round moisturizer and it doesn't feel oily at all so it's great for oily skin as well. I also feel like it really quickly absorbs which I really really like and it's not sticky. So that is my morning skincare routine. Normally I would also wear sunscreen. I've been loving the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen as well as one that I haven't shown. This is the Innisfree Daily Mild Sunscreen. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put some on. But on the days that I'm not shooting or like seeing people, I usually don't wear any makeup at home so I'm not gonna wear any makeup, but I may run errands later today. So I'll just put on some sunscreen. And I like this one as a daily sunscreen. I'll also put down below um, some of my favorite places to buy Korean skincare products because um, there are some websites that I would highly recommend. Yeah, as you guys can see, there's no white cast. It feels really good. It's also very moisturizing and it's very mild, but it has good SPF, SPF 50. <laughs> My mom wrote morning on here, I think. So this is my morning skincare routine. Only four important steps. I will link different products down below if you are just starting to get into, you know, skincare. These are some of the ones that I would really recommend. So I just finished blow drying my hair and this is basically what my hair looks like after. I haven't been using the air wrap like these tools because I have a perm right now so basically it already looks curled once I blow dry my hair but my mom just brought this back so I'm interested to actually see what it would look like doing the air wrap on my already permed hair so I might do that in my next video. But yeah, I am done with my skincare and my hair routine. I'm going to make some breakfast.
These mangoes are so ripe and delicious. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. But this was my morning routine. I'm happy I was able to share this with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna finish eating this up and do some work. Bye!